The new rule, which goes into effect Tuesday, would expand a policy known as expedited removal nationwide. It allows the Department of Homeland Security, which also includes CBP and ICE, to arrest and then remove a person living in the U.S. without legal permission in a matter of days or even hours. The Department of Homeland Security says it's taking the step to better deal with the years-long backlog of immigration court cases nationwide, as well as the influx of Central American asylum seekers at the southern border. Normally, immigrants facing deportation in San Diego would have the opportunity to see a judge to fight their removal in a courtroom like this one here in downtown San Diego. Under the new rule, they'd be able to be removed within 24 hours without ever having to see a judge to fight their case. Immigration lawyers say this practice infringes on the civil rights of their clients by denying them a chance to argue their case in front of a judge. Expedited removal had only previously been narrowly applied to immigrants arrested along the border who had been in the U.S. for less than 14 days. The new rule extends that time period to two years and makes it nationwide, not just along the border. For individuals who can't, who don't have that kind of documentation, that's definitely going to be, it's very scary. People already don't want to leave their homes and are afraid to open their doors. Maria Chavez is an immigration lawyer practicing in San Diego. She says the expansion of expedited removal will upend the American immigration system. It's going to impact everybody, those who are coming to apply for asylum and those who just want to come in to work. Um, if they get caught, you know, regardless of the reason, they're going to be get subject to expedited removal proceedings. Their only way of fighting their deportation would be to pass a credible fear interview claiming fear of returning to their country. According to the new rule, ICE will be able to place anyone in expedited removal proceedings who have not affirmatively shown to the satisfaction of an immigration officer that they've lived in the U.S. for longer than two years. That means immigrants with legal status and even U.S. citizens could be put into proceedings if they're unable to prove that. So I would recommend that people, they start to carry around a little folder with documents trying to show presence in the past two years. The Migration Policy Institute estimates 297,000 immigrants in the U.S. could be affected by the new policy. The American Civil Liberties Union, which has taken the lead in challenging the Trump administration's immigration policies, has pledged it will once again challenge the new rule in court. Max Rivlin-Nadler, KPBS News.